Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponderon Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about the upcoming pattern over the United States for the next 10 days. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's kind of delve into the details. What you're looking at here is I figured I'd kind of take you back and then take you where we're going. Here was the overall temperature anomalies for October. And you can see back then we had that pretty good Arctic outbreak taking over in the central part of the US, filtering in those well below normal temperatures for a good chunk of the central and southern part of the US with some of those uh, higher anomalies, uh, warmer temperatures out west and in the east as well as the southeast. And then so far in November, we've been pretty much predominantly warm for a good chunk of the US until for the first 13 days of November. You can see the temperatures have been above normal in a lot of places, well above normal on the extreme northern tier as well as the southeast and the northeast. The only place that's really been below normal is uh, the Pacific Northwest where they have seen uh, some rain showers uh, moving back in the picture as they've been fairly uh, dry in the prior months. Now let's take a look at the latest uh, Enzo Outlook. Uh, this updates basically every second Thursday of the month. So this is the recently updated Outlook. And the La Nina started back on September the 10th and has only intensified since then. We are now at what they call a moderate uh, La Nina and sometimes it's even trending towards a strong La Nina. But this La Nina is predicted to continue all the way through the winter months uh, has an 85% chance of that lasting. And then all the way into spring, it has a 60% chance lasting through February into April. So now let's take a look at kind of take you through the next 10 days and what the pattern is going to bring for the United States. Here's the overall uh, weather outlook for later on the day on Saturday. You can see we've got some snow back in the higher elevations uh, in the northwest. We do have a little bit mixed precipitation and where we've had a lot of storm systems come off the Pacific coast, uh, some rain showers uh, moving back in into Washington as well as uh, Oregon. But we did have that little mini cool front and there is some severe weather to speak of and uh, parts of uh, Missouri and uh, Arkansas and then some rain shower spread it into the uh, Ohio Valley but as far as the temperatures go uh, down south it's been well above normal if not 20 degrees above normal I know the average high right now in Dallas is 68 degrees so we're talking low 80s if not mid 80s today and uh, it's much of the south and the only cold air around is is uh, coming in from a cold front that's going to be moving through uh tomorrow from the northwest and uh, just slightly cool down in, in the northeast but that, let's take a look at now sunday what that actually looks like here's that cold front that's moving in from the northwest and typically we really only drop back to average uh, and there is some mixed precipitation back behind it but there's not really much cold air to speak of with these uh, cold fronts but it is going to bring some rain showers uh, to uh, the Ohio Valley, into Kentucky, into Tennessee, spreading up to uh, uh, Virginia, into, into Pennsylvania. And where they do have some cold air to speak of, we might have some mixed precipitation in the higher elevations of the northeast. But yeah, as far as the temperature anomalies on Sunday, it only really drops it down back to average temperatures, more or less, uh, for the deep south. And some of those higher anomalies uh, hang on. Uh, is that cold front really doesn't make it all the way to the extreme uh, uh, southeast coast and uh, you can you can see overall just pretty much average temperatures setting the stage for uh, Sunday as we get into Monday it kind of really clears out that cold front extends all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico and then uh, there is some mis mixed precipitation, like I said, with some very subtle cold air around in the northeast, uh, especially in the, in the higher elevations. And then we all have a another mixed bag of precipitation uh, for the northwest. As we get into Monday, you can see those temperatures, um, you know, 
as a, as a ridge starts to build in from from the west again we see those higher anomalies moving back into california and nevada and idaho uh, these will filter into uh, parts of texas and so you see uh, pretty much the west areas uh, pretty much uh, above normal and then that where that cold front uh, moved through in the southeast you know like i said pretty much dropping us back down to average temperatures but by Tuesday, that ridge extends even further. This will extend and the, you know push eastward throughout the week, and some of these anomalies really start getting to um, you know 10, 15, if not 20 degrees above normal for a good chunk uh, of the west. But we do do see subtle signs of a uh, cold shots coming in from the northeast will drop us back down to a 10 to 15 degrees uh, below normal as some. Uh, colder air start starts to creep in back into uh, the northeast but as we get into uh, wednesday you can see the, the kind of a extreme anomalies kind of set the stage where we see uh if not you know 10 to 15 degrees below average temperatures we do see some a little bit of snow chances in in the higher levels but not too extreme for you guys uh, in the northeast just temperatures you know 10 to 15 15 degrees uh below normal and then uh, out uh, to the west, that's when it really starts to crank up. This ridge really intensifies. Uh, and then we see some of these bigger warm-ups uh, in the midsection of the country. You're talking 20 to 25 degrees below above average temperatures by then. So as this ridge just kind of uh, ex extensifies and expands uh, throughout the week, because by Thursday, this will start getting into the Ohio Valley and uh, drifting south. And you can see where we have our next cool shot but there's not too much cold air behind it and some of these temperatures are you know again 20 to 25 degrees ab above normal but by we'll skip it to uh, saturday now and you can see that was that where that colder air came in uh, there's not too much colder air behind it i mean you, you got anomalies that's still well above normal in the deep south of california nevada getting into uh, arizona and new mexico much much of texas and extreme parts of the southeast where you've been well above average uh for number november and that looks to continue uh even through uh, much of next week and uh, like I said, this this cold front doesn't really have much colder air behind it. We are seeing some some indications where we have might so a little bit colder air trying to build up in Canada. But this is by next Sunday. You can see temperatures are pretty much modifying a lot of that. A lot of the warmer air uh, hangs on to, to uh, the, you know, the deep south from from California to Texas all the way to Florida. So I, you, you do expect uh you know above average temperatures for a good chunk of the week and it's really not until you know not next week but beyond that uh start getting into uh thanksgiving week where we do see some signs this is of course 10 days from now we do see some signs of uh at least some colder air uh you know trying to build up in canada and uh, release down into uh, the United States where we're seeing uh, the, the temperature anomaly starting to filter in into uh, Minnesota and uh, parts of the extreme parts of uh, Montana and the northern tiers of uh, 10 to 15, if not 20 degrees uh, below normal. So a lot of the guidance beyond that is uh, pretty much undecided. You know, the, the one takes it warmer. So it just depends on uh, the, the how how this is able to extend further south but for the next 10 days uh there's not much uh, colder air to deal with only for the northeast that's going to be hitting in the cold uh, you can see some of these uh, temp the precipitation over the next uh, 10 days pretty much f for the northwest we've got uh, some some t you know four to six inch rain showers into washington as well as uh, oregon but pretty much high and dry for Southern California and in Nevada. They 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 finally ended their drought in uh, Vegas. But man, it, it was they went like it was like April the twentieth. They went over two hundred days without a drop of rain, and they finally ended that streak. But you can see it's just been so bone dry in that part of the country, and even in the Texas, um, you know, they had a lot of rain coming in uh, earlier in the year, but it's been 
pretty dry uh, for the most part in uh, Texas over the last uh, month. And uh, the, the only rain showers we start start creeping in is where those cold fronts uh, will hit uh, throughout the week or cool fronts uh, to the the Ohio Valley, parts of uh, Illinois and Indiana and Ohio, where we see you know some of these two two and three inch rain amounts. And some of this uh, mixed precipitation will mix in with these colder shots that are coming in from uh, the northeast. But a lot of the precipitation is well down below. It's been where it's been very active in the tropics. And and you can kind of see with the temperatures being well above normal in uh, November and that will extend even into next week. And that's why the tropics has been so active this late in the season in the Caribbean and you can see the snow there's with the subtle cold shots a lot of this snow is uh, in the in the higher elevations in the in the north uh, in the northwest getting into uh, the parts of uh, the mountains of Colorado and even in the northeast where they do have those cold shots most of it will be in the in the uh, the higher elevations in the northeast so that is basically uh, it how uh, the next 10 days will plan a uh, pa pair out for uh, the united states i appreciate you guys uh, watching do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel to catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm